George Clooney and Randy Gerber, the creators of Casamigos Tequila, tell a great story about how they created their brand by accident in 2013. They perpetuate the story in all of their interviews and news outlets and fashion magazines are happy to reprint it. Problem is, the story is not entirely accurate. The official version is that George and Randy came up with the idea of the brand while vacationing together in Mexico in 2010. They sampled their fair share of tequila from local bars and restaurants and decided to make one of their own that would be just perfect for them. They found a distiller in Mexico and had the tequila delivered to their homes, both situated on a property known as Casamigos. The name is a play on words that can roughly be translated as House of Friends. The official plan for the tequila was to be consumed by George, Randy, and their friends and families. However, when they ordered over a thousand sample bottles, their distiller finally insisted that they needed a license. Thus, the brand was officially launched in 2013 and made available to the public. Since then, it has become one of the fastest growing tequila companies in the world to be later acquired by Diageo for $1 billion. But we'll get there in a moment. One thing, one thing noticeably missing from the story is that Clooney and Gerber set up a company and filed a bunch of trademarks long before their distiller mentioned the license. They filed their first trademark for the name Casamigos covering tequila on May 9th, 2011. In December of the same year, they trademarked It Could Happen, Please Drink Responsibly. Then, in October of 2012, they trademarked the logo and another tagline brought to you by those who drink it. As of today, they have at least 12 pending or registered trademarks in the US alone. Don't get me wrong, I don't blame Clooney and Gerber for wanting to embellish the story a little bit. In today's world where deliberate success and wealth are often frowned upon, they almost had to create the perception of a regs to riches story to get the masses to buy into their Casamigos movement. How else would they get thousands of people post Casamigos pics on social media and even make Casamigos tattoos? But make no mistake, Clooney and Gerber understand the value of the brand and the importance of owning it. And it's not just my conclusion as I look at their trademarks. Here is Randy Gerber's own words. It's our brand, we own it. It's our money in the brand. This is why trademarking their brand was one of the first things they did, long before they officially launched their tequila to the public. And then, just a few years later, they sold the brand to Diageo, the world's largest alcohol distributor, for $1 billion. The partners got 700 million up front and the remaining 300 million dollars will be paid to them based on performance of the brand over the next 10 years. Going from zero to a billion dollars in just four years is absolutely remarkable. They practically printed a billion dollars out of thin air. And if you're thinking to yourself, well of course it's George Clooney think again. I assure you that it would have cost the Agile less than a billion dollars to hire Mr. Clooney to advertise Smirnoff Vodka, Guinness Beer, Johnny Walker Whiskey, and all of their other drinks. Instead, the Agile paid a billion dollars to acquire this new tequila brand. And that was something more tangible than just George Clooney's face or his name or his fame. So there's a lesson there. Clooney could only sell his brand and make so much money out of it because he properly protected the brand at the very beginning. 
before anybody saw a bottle on the shelf, before he and Randy announced it, first thing they did is they trademarked the name so nobody could take it. And then they figured out a way to build a product around it. And then they figured out a way to monetize the brand. Very smart way to build a brand, very smart way to monetize a brand. So thank you, George Clooney, for this amazing lesson. And for everyone out there, the lesson here is not for you to start coming up with new tequila brands or trying to sell them to Diageo. The lesson here is that the brand has massive value if you take the right steps to protect it and build something around it. So use this lesson from George Clooney in your business. Build a brand, be legendary. I'm Andre Minkov, the founder and CEO of Trademark Factory. If you like this video, if you're interested in learning how to build a great brand, how to monetize a great brand, how to protect a great brand, subscribe and get notified whenever the next video goes live. I'll see you in the next video.